welcome to the Luxury Lifestyle Show, where we bring you the latest and greatest in all things luxurious. In this video, we will take a look at the 10 most heavily guarded women. But before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Now, let's get right to it. Kim Kardashian Kim Kardashian's trajectory from reality TV fame has propelled her into a staggering 10-figure fortune, primarily attributed to her ownership of Skims, a shapewear venture. As of 2023, Skims boasts a $4 billion valuation after a successful funding round with notable investors. Time magazine recognized Kardashian's influence and her estimated net worth stood at $1.8 billion in 2022. Beyond her public persona, she has become politically active, advocating for prison reform. Following a distressing 2016 robbery during Paris Fashion Week, Kardashian bolstered her security, enlisting former Secret Service agents and implementing stringent measures to protect her privacy and well-being. Meghan Markle Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, is an American member of the British royal family and a former actress. Married to Prince Harry, she gained global recognition when Time magazine listed her among the 100 most influential people. In 2019, they were named among the 25 most influential people on the internet. Meghan and Prince Harry allocated $200 million annually for their security, emphasizing their commitment to private protection. Despite residing in their Santa Barbara estate, they faced security breaches and pursuits by paparazzi highlighting the challenges they endure to maintain privacy, with one incident in New York involving a dozen vehicles and expressing feelings of fear and exhaustion. Yvonne Ike Yvonne Ike, Managing Director at Bank of America Merrill Lynch, has over 25 years of experience in finance. Joining in 2014, she positioned the bank as a leader in international financial services in Sub-Saharan Africa. Formerly CEO for West Africa at Renaissance Capital, she played a pivotal role in the region. At JP Morgan, her efforts elevated Nigeria's status of international investors, handling transactions, and groundbreaking deals. Beyond finance, Ike actively contributes to Africa's development, founding the Adara Foundation in 2017. Acknowledged by the Queen of England and featured in prestigious lists, Ike's security is paramount due to her impactful position and extensive travels. Samaya Sulu Hassan Samaya Sulu Hassan, born January 27, 1960, is Tanzania's first female president. As vice president from 2015 to 2021, she initiated democratic reforms, contrasting with Magufuli's policies. Her presidency prioritizes infrastructure expansion economic globalization, and civic liberties, including freedom of speech and press. Notably, she lifted the ban on political rallies and established a task force for political reform. President Suluhu maintains an all-female security team using a wedge box formation for her security during official engagements. Her leadership marks Tanzania's shifts towards democracy and international engagement fostering partnerships and participating in events like Expo 2020 with Dubai. Jewel Taylor Jewel Kiana Taylor, born on January 17, 1963, is the 30th Vice President of Liberia and a prominent politician. Formerly married to Charles Taylor, she held key roles during his presidency and actively participated in various government capacities. Taylor has been influential in education, health care, and social initiatives. Elected to the Senate in 2005, she chaired the Senate Health Committee and is a member of the National Patriotic Party. Known as the Jewel of Africa, Taylor advocates for gender equality, quality education, and transparent legal system, improved health care, women's participation in economic and political spheres, and an accountable public service system across the continent. Jacinda Ardern Former New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, known for her unprecedented security, faced extensive abuse and threats during her tenure, leading to ongoing protection. Appointed as the country's youngest Prime Minister in over 150 years in 2017, 
she resigned in January 2023. Ardern's global influence, acknowledged by Forbes and Time, included a contribution of $150,000 to support New Zealanders studying at the university after winning Harvard's 2020 Gleitzman International Activist Award. Despite her goodwill, Ardern encountered 50 to 90 times more online abuse than counterparts, prompting exceptional security measures by New Zealand's Diplomatic Protection Service due to credible threats. Michelle Bachelet Michelle Bachelet, a Chilean politician, served as the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights from 2018 to 2022. Before that, she held a presidency in Chile during two non-consecutive terms, from 2006 to 2010, and then from 2014 to 2018, becoming the first woman to assume the role in Chile. Notably, her administration implemented significant reforms, including a tax reform bill to raise corporate taxes, an education reform providing free higher education, and the creation of an economic and social stabilization fund. Michelle Bachelet received recognition for her steadfast stance on using copper revenues to address income inequality. Malala Yousafzai Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani activist, achieved the remarkable milestone of becoming the world's youngest Nobel Peace Prize laureate in 2014 at the age of 17, known for her resolute advocacy for education, especially for women and children. Malala survived a Taliban assassination attempt in 2012 at the age of 15. Following the attack, she received medical care in the UK and continued her education. Under constant security threats, she co-authored the best-selling book I Am Malala and established the Malala Fund. Malala's global prominence led to elite police protection and a multi-year partnership with Apple for content creation showcasing her ongoing commitment to education and empowerment. Melinda Gates Melinda Gates, the fifth most powerful woman globally, is recognized for her philanthropy and was featured on Forbes' list of the world's 100 most powerful women. She co-founded the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation with her former husband, Bill Gates, focusing on global health, education, and gender equality. The foundation with assets worth $43 billion, has pledged significant funds for COVID-19 supplies, malaria eradication, and supporting students of color. Melinda, an advocate for women and girls' rights, achieved billionaire status following her divorce from Bill Gates. The couple's vast wealth requires elevated personal security, with instances of Melinda observed with an extensive security detail. Angela Merkel Angela Merkel, Germany's former chancellor, served from 2005 to 2021, making history as the first female German chancellor. Forbes ranked her as the world's second most powerful person in 2012 and 2015, while Time magazine named her Person of the Year in 2015. Merkel, known as the Iron Lady, drew comparisons to Margaret Thatcher, sharing a background in science. She maintained strict security measures, traveling in an armored vehicle and having a team of 10 to 15 personal bodyguards. In 2019, an assassination attempt was thwarted in Prague when an individual tried to breach her motorcade security cordon. So what do you think? Tell us in the comment section below. Give it a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get more videos like this. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.